Hey, hey, welcome in my ASVAB party people. Coach Anderson here, and I'm really excited to show you how to do this question here because so many people struggle with systems of equations, but there's actually you know, a very straightforward way to get things done as long as you're willing to practice just a little bit. So as always, again, if you're in my program, this is gonna be found in arithmetic reasoning unit number seven. So the great thing about this, if you're in my program, is that I actually just updated it with a set of 500 brand new questions and every single question is gonna have step-by-step -step solutions for you to tackle. That way, you can reset the exam, take it as many times as you want, get brand new questions, and get a feedback report, step-by-step -step solutions every single time. So I'll show you what that looks like at the end of the video, but for now, let's go ahead and tackle this thing here. So first things first, we always wanna identify the question here, and it says that we want the cost of one plate. So, great, sounds good. I'm gonna say P for plate, Sounds great, cool. Now let's go ahead and go through the information and see what's related to this plate that I'm trying to find the value of. And before you continue, just remember, you can get a free week to our full program, no credit card required. All you gotta do is text TRIAL to 833-321-0182. Do that real quick, get a free week, join all the classes, and raise your score. So if I read through, I see that it says, Timothy bought two cups and six plates for $92. So I see the plates right there. Hmm, I don't know how cups is gonna be included here, but then it says Kevin bought six cups and nine plates for 150. Okay, so right there I'm noticing that, yeah, we're looking for plates, but another unknown variable is the cost of a cup. So I'm gonna to note to myself that, yeah, I'm looking for the plate, but I'm also gonna know that C represents the cost of a cup. So again, this is the, these are the ingredients to let you know that you're dealing with a system of equations because you're dealing with two unknowns and you're also dealing with two relationships that use the unknowns. Here's what I mean by that. In green, I'll go ahead and highlight this right here. Two cups and six plates for $92. That'll be right here. Two cups plus six plates equals $92. And then over here in red, we see that it says Kevin bought six cups and nine plates for 150. So I'll mark that out as, hey, to get that total price, we have six of those cups plus nine of those plates, and that's gonna give us $150. So once we're able to translate the English into math, which is a skill that everyone needs to have if you expect success here, so make sure to write that down that you're gonna practice. But once we have that set up, now we can move forward to using our techniques to solving a system of equations. So we can go uh, really, you know, there's both ways. We can use elimination, we can use substitution. But for this one, what I'm going to recommend you do is actually use elimination. Try to eliminate one of the variables. And I noticed that, hey, uh, two and six, although they're not the same number in the front that I can't eliminate, I know that if I multiply two by six uh, or two by three, I'm going to get six. So if I multiply this whole top equation by three, I'll have 6c and this will be 6c, allowing me to eliminate. That's really what I wanna do. So once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and say again, this entire top equation, multiply the whole thing by three. So once I do that, we're actually gonna end up having, over here, that's gonna be 6c, that'll be 18p, and then 92 times three is 276. 90 times three is 270. Two times three is six. So that's gonna be 276. So now that I have that, again, this is gonna give me a really good advantage because what I can do now is I can just subtract these equations. I can subtract these as is and I'm good. Just make sure you're putting a parenthesis here to show that you're subtracting one equation from the other. Perfectly legal to do. And you'll see that you'll eliminate the six C's then 18p minus 9p is 9p. 276 minus 150 is gonna be 126. So again, look at how smooth that can be. Now the last thing we need to do to find the price of one plate is to divide both sides here by nine. And like I said, hold on until the end here because I'm gonna show you exactly how you can get more practice just like this and how you can guarantee that you dominate systems no matter what way you need to go. So once we divide by nine here, we can go ahead and do long division if we want to. And we'll see that we'll have nine into 12 is one time, three left, nine into 36, that's four. So that's gonna end up giving us 14. The price of one plate is $14, must be fine china. 
And so there we are. That's going to be answer choice C. But go ahead again. Look right behind me so you can see exactly what I mean. If you're in the program, like I said, this is going to be unit seven. And this brand new update makes it so much better for you to practice because you'll be able to retake this practice test. You have 20 minutes to solve 10 questions. So just about as wrap time, a little less than that. And you'll be able to practice your skills through and through. Once you're done, you'll be able to see a feedback report just like you see right behind me. And you'll be able to see what the correct answer was. And not only that, you'll be able to practice literally step by step exactly how I do it. What do you want? What do you have? What's the connection? And I show you exactly how to get it done. So this goes for every single question. You're going to be able to see exactly what went wrong, how to grow from it. And it's not just the, oh, I bought a textbook and I'm going to memorize every question. No, but true practice that raises your confidence the right way. So if you're interested in learning more about this program at Party People, I absolutely recommend it. Over 1,500 of my students have used it. And if you want to, go ahead and text the word PROGRAM to 833-321-0182 and learn about all the different features that make it easy to ace the ASVAB. I'm Coach Anderson. I'll see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, my party people, thanks for watching. You can subscribe with that button right there, and you can also see a link to a video just like this one right up there. But most importantly, if you want the program and you want to raise your score the right way, every step of the way with my support, there's that link at the bottom left. Go ahead, click that link, watch the video on how the program works, subscribe, and raise your score.